They didn't want to say it was racial because they knew that wouldn't stand up. But they had an anti-trust passing law passed in, uh, in the Georgia legislature. And the uh, owners of a restaurant or even a, any kind of store, if you asked to, if they asked you to leave and you didn't leave, they could have you arrested. And that's what Martin Luther King was arrested on. So we went out to uh, Hollowell and I went to uh, DeKalb County to represent Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, after the, when the hearing was open, he was sentenced to uh, so many months in uh, jail. This was a misdemeanor. And I think it was J. Oscar Mitchell Sinister. And uh, so we tried to get him out on bond. And they wouldn't let him out on bond because they said he also was uh, charged with a probation violation. Some uh, less than a month earlier, he had been arrested in DeKalb County while driving. I think it was Lillian Smith, a uh, white woman, Arthur Home, and he was uh, he was uh, put in jail. And he was charged with not having uh, Georgia's driver's license because he was from Alabama. Okay, so the judge sentenced him to uh, first place. He had appeared on that driver's case. He had appeared before the same judge out in DeKalb County. And the judge had sentenced him to so many months uh, in jail and so many months on probation or parole, I don't remember which. And uh, we, uh, we went out to get him out on bond and they wouldn't let us on bond. So while we were uh, while we were uh, trying to get bond, they transferred him all the way from the cab county to Reedsville, Georgia. That's the maximum security facility there. So we looked over the uh, paperwork and we said it was still within 30 days. So we appealed this case to the Georgia Court of Appeals and they ordered that he be released on bond. And he was brought back to Atlanta, Don Hollowell, and the news people went down there. They uh, uh, rented or rented or leased some airlines, airplanes. The news people did that. But Don Hollowell, they wanted to interview King, so Don Hollowell said, yeah, if you take us down there. So they went to Reedsville, and uh, they brought King back to Atlanta. And uh, in the meanwhile, Court of Appeals ruled that the original sentence issued by the judge in, in the traffic case was illegal. So he was let out it out and then that meant that his violation of probation was over was thrown out and uh, he later was ordered back to uh, DeKalb County before the, for some judge out there and the judge uh, uh, this time just gave him a fine, which he paid, and he was set free. Go ahead.